Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today we're going to be making and testing this brush cleaning board hack that I found on Instagram. I've seen a couple of people trying this hack, but still I wanted to give it a try and kind of test it out together. We'll need a flat waterproof base or board. I found this, for instance, in this around the house. A good idea if you store like empty cases, like storage things, maybe you have something in your house and you can use it. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut my board or my um, plastic to make the board. And my board is going to be a rectangular shaped board. You can cut it in any shape that you want. Once I have done that, I'm just going to cut my corners. I'm just going to make them a bit round because, um, yeah, sometimes pointy plastic tends to hurt a lot when you punch yourself with it. Now, since both sizes of my now board are pretty much the same thing, I'm just going to paint one. I'm just going to paint it with my acrylic paint and my brush. Now, as far as for paint, make sure you work with a really good quality paint because if not, the first time you test it on water, like the paint is going to peel off and you don't want that. You want it to be lasting as much as you can. But I decided to paint it in white because and that way I can see if the paint that is on my brush is actually being removed. So yeah, I'm just going to give it a couple of coats. So once my white side is dry i'm just going to flip it upside down and then i'm just going to go and use my hot glue gun and i'm just going to start making some shapes and again i would stick with the transparent or translucent glue sticks so you can tell if the paint is removing or not but i'm just going to keep on doing all the shapes until i'm pretty much uh, done or covered as much of the board as i wanted to now it's time to test I tried this twice, one with hot water and this happened. The paint, it was removed faster because of the hot water, but it actually got to peel a lot of those figures that I made on my board of a hot glue gun. They peeled easier and faster. Now the first thing that I wanted to mention is that I've seen this hack but for makeup like brushes, but I wanted to test it for acrylic paint and brushes kind of thing. But I think if you, instead of soap, add cleanser or the usual things that you clear your makeup brushes with, it's going to work the same. And then I tried it with uh, cold water and this happened. Nothing really happened with cold water as opposed to using hot water that is easier to just peel up those hot glue gun figures nothing will happen you can just replace them but it can get kind of annoying to just um, replace those figures after each time you clean your brushes this is a good way to clean your brushes when you don't really want your hands all wet and soapy yeah and the only thing i would uh, highly suggest you is to work with cold water because hot water does not really work or at least it wasn't a good idea for me just keep in mind those figures are not going to stay forever and ever you're just going to eventually have to replace those figures with other new figures but nothing really major i think it's pretty cool it's money saver and it's like a real cool way to just have all your stuff clean and again you can use it for makeup brushes and for paint brushes i've honestly been using this hack for all my brushes I think it works. I loved it. And I would highly recommend you to try it yourself, make your own DIY. If you want to send me your creations over Twitter or Instagram, use the hashtag cute simple stuff. Hope you find this idea helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. And don't forget to share it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.